What's up guys, King of Bunk here once again, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be comparing the two RuneScape games, so let's just get right into it, I'm going to be doing this over my little fishing video. So, RS3 has essentially become World of Warcraft, in my opinion, like a lesser version, more simplistic version of World of Warcraft. Now a lot of you aren't going to like that, but that's what they're trying to become. Now let's go RuneScape is a game from like 10 years ago, so they both have their little drawbacks. But, in RS3, you have a lot more customization, and for some people, that's a big bonus, but they fucked up their combat system. Well, in old school RuneScape, you're basically just left with the bare minimums, but the combat system isn't completely broken. Now in RS3, you can get skilling pets, but in here you can get boss pets, so... Everything is kind of evened out for now, except the fact that in RS3, you have to go do Dung Bung of Huckaneery to get a decent weapon. And even then, that weapon eh, is kind of on the lower end side now. I know chaotic weapons were a big thing back in the day, but now they've kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, in old school, you can still use a god sword and get by. And that's what I think people like. They don't have to keep doing new things to stay relevant in the game. Like if you log off for a year in RS3, all your gear is going to be outdated. Every single piece of your gear is going to be completely useless. Well, in old school, you can log off for a year and still... Oh look, my dragon chain body is still one of the best armors in the game. My bando is still the best. My god swords, oh look at that. It's still the best weapon in the game. Now, that could change because old school's starting to do some updates, but who knows? I doubt they're ever gonna outdate Bandos and shit like that. But the one bad thing about old school RuneScape is the community, and that's what's kind of pushing me away from right now. Because if you look at my stats, they're not the best, they're kind of evened out. I know I need my strength falling behind a little bit. But I've been just walking from Varrock to Falador, and I've had literally 10 people come up to me and tell me my character is a failed piece of crap. Because my strength's slow, none of my stats make sense, blah blah blah. 60 defense, why is that higher than your strength? It should be lower than your strength. Fuck you, I'm gonna get 99 defense now. Just to spite every fucking nerd who says it. Well, you go over to RS3, no one gives a shit. They're just like, oh yeah, look. You have 99 woodcutting cape. Congrats. I don't care that you only have one attack and 99 strength and 86 defense. No one cares. But since OS Buddy came out, you go around, everyone's like, oh yeah, look. Congrats on 3 million XP. Look at mine. Mine's 8 mil, you noob. So, that's the only bad thing about Old School Escape besides the fact that the like, water doesn't even fucking move. Look at this. The water stays the same. The water needs to move when you're fishing. I don't want to fish in a giant rubbery piece of crap. But yeah, that was my little review. I find Old School Escape to be a little bit better just because the gear doesn't get outdated. The customization is kind of become annoying by a little bit. Just because I walk around and all I see are like skeleton dudes and some race of wings and everything like that. And I don't know, it just doesn't feel like RuneScape anymore. So. I don't know, that's probably because I started back in 2006, but whatever. The communities are toxic. The communities are very, very toxic, and there's no way to fix it. So I'm just going to sit here and fish and mind my own business from now on. Alright, till next time, you guys.